hi everybody welcome back to my channel pray you're all doing wonderful and are keeping in extremely good health and in perfect perfect happiness today we're going to talk about the importance of self-care and self-love because there is a massive correlation between the two you need to practice self-love in order to practice self-care and also the thing to remember is when it comes to self-care and self-love it's not about being big-headed and selfish and yeah there is a lot of misconception about it and also because of a different upbringing it comes naturally to a lot to some people and also it doesn't come naturally to some people again backgrounds they differ some people grew up around those environments where they were taken for pamper sessions they were given the princess treatment others were not so therefore there's going to be a bit of friction and resistance when it comes to giving to yourself or pouring in your own cup first so yeah let's dive into the importance of self-love and self-care so here according to galatians 6 verse 7 it says that where a man sows therefore he shall reap so in terms of practicing your self-care and self-love you are going to think that you're being silly when you're practicing these things or when you are making minor or big modifications into your routine but whatever it is that you're doing an act of love see it as a seed and therefore when you plant that seed every single day it is going to germinate and it's going to give birth to something so what it is what what is it that you want to cal, uh, cultivate in your life what is it that you want to grow more of focus on those things and the rewards are going to be there sometimes you're not going to see the reward instantly I know we live in an era whereby we just want it and we want it now we want to click and let it play we want to order it and it's going to be primed the next day sometimes with self-care and self-love you really have to do the work so that this way it is going to transform you internally as well because the self-care that genuinely matters it is that sort of self-care that is going to take care of the mind the body and the spirit so that's why i personally think that it's not a selfish way of approaching life because it is going to affect everything around you and when it affects everything around you it means it's going to affect everyone around you so if you want to be more of whatever it is that you want you're going to have to give it time if you want to become math a mathematician you're going to start with basic addition subtraction division multiplication algebra and then you go forth and forth and you are not going to start with calculus before you do uh, basic addition and subtraction right so the same with uh, self-love and trying to get where you want to go it's going to be a journey and every single day it's about sowing those little seeds so really what self-love and self-care does is that it is calling you to have that brick by brick approach and also it is a lifelong dedication uh, dedication like I said and it's not about perfection it is just about showing up in whatever capacity you can we have seen a lot of countless and countless uh, studies done on science as well as research that has been done on how self-care and self-love affects our stress levels it affects our health it affects the way we see ourselves it even affects our confidence level so when you practice self-care and self-love you are also going to be increasing your health because when it comes to that uh, practice more, more are doing more of those sowing those seeds you also have to be mindful of your health so if anything stresses you out you it's you are allowed to actually step back or cut it off or fix it whatever it is that you can do but you have to approach it in the name of self-love and self-care so that this way whatever situation is eating you up it's not going to be affecting your <clears throat> your health as well so deal with life deal with the complications that come with it but also create pockets of moments where you can actually just step back and and feed your soul heal your soul and and regroup basically so that this way life when it comes with all, with all its many challenges you are not going to be buried under the pile of 
stress that is going to be affecting your blood pressure that is going to affect your immune system that is going to affect your skin is going to affect your yes your immune system and if we don't have that that's we are basically the walking dead isn't it so always always think of self-care as how how it can be in correlation with your overall health. Acknowledging the fact that we only have obviously 24 hours in a day and also we have finite energy. So you need to be mindful of where your energy is going. Self-care and self-love is not about obviously what we see on, the, on Pinterest, basically taking bubble baths and going for a massage, going to the hammam going to the salon all those things are lovely and we all should do those things but i'm talking about the sort of self-care that is going to allow you to set boundaries allow you to to understand that you don't have that energy to spread around loosely like like loose change you don't have that it's not confetti where you just have to keep on throwing or glitter you also have to be protective because the world has changed so much since the pandemic i don't think any of us are the same people we have all gone through the ringer so therefore there is a lot of energies around and we are all healing and we are all on this path and trying to figure things out so sometimes like i said this is where you have this is where you can exercise choice and knowing what you can allow what what you can allow to give your energy to for example if the news stresses you out don't watch it or maybe try to watch an hour per day and get an update because if it's anything truly important I think we'll find a way of knowing it because our phones are constantly in our hands isn't it which leads me to my next points my next point but before that so therefore Google News when you open your phone is going to tell you what is happening so you're not missing out on anything just find ways to protect your energy and also it could be that you cannot keep up with the people from the past it's okay to just move on gracefully and if those people are also moving on with their lives they should understand that you also have the right to move on you have a right to evolve you have a right you have a right to change and to to be to step into your newness because this is 2023 it's a new year we're not the same people we were like two years ago and even six months ago because each and every experience is transforming us whether we know it or not it's just it just happens because life is a way of just being subtle about these things so when it comes to your finite energy make sure that you're spending it where you are going to get the best seed the best harvest after sowing the seed according to according to point number one so always be mindful is it reading that you're supposed to be doing at least invest your energy into that and less investing your energy into worrying into focusing on your mistakes we all are here to live and to learn so therefore instead of focusing on the negative try to focus on the positive i'm not saying let's bury our heads in the sand and the men of ostriches and Forget about the issues we have to deal with. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm just saying is, as we find the solutions, being more chaotic about it and more stressed about it is not going to move us further, but instead it's going to just create this illusion of productivity. When in reality, if you just sit still and sit with the emotion and invest that, that energy into not beating yourself up, but rather rectifying the problem give yourself a compliment once again this is not being this is not self-serving we do it to the people we like we do it to our to our loved ones we do it for our friends why not do it for yourself every single day like every day see it as part of your of your self-care and this these are the tips like i said they don't even have to cost anything so when you are doing your mirror work if you can i'm going to illustrate maybe in another video or two what mirror work is but it's very easy so this is where you just stand in front of the mirror and you find something to compliment yourself on. It could be that you have been, um, it could be the way you make the bed, yeah, for instance. 
and you love the way the pillows are arranged you just love the way you do it every day before you get the day started to create that sense of order so you can praise yourself you can give yourself a compliment maybe it's your hair you've been diligent and really consistent with your with your treatments and your hair is growing you're washing it more you're listening to it and it's growing so you can really give yourself a compliment on that and the reason why this is so important is because when you start reprogramming your mind and really going internally and starting to believe those positive affirmations and compliments when you see it in another person in another woman you're going to be you're not going to be intimidated by it but instead it's just going to come naturally to you and you're going to be one of those lovely girls that also compliment other lovely girls and it's a sign of um, confidence in my opinion and it's a sign of security because you are secure in your own skin and once again this is not about covering up what's broken now like if your hair needs to be fixed you need to fix it <laughs> but i'm talking about finding something that is genuinely positive and really focusing on that because like i said we give other people compliments all the time why not start with yourself as well and why wait for someone else to give you a compliment when you can actually compliment yourself and and be proud of how hard you're trying because change change is very difficult i'm a taurus i know how difficult change is so therefore don't be afraid to say a few wonderful things to yourself because you are sowing those seeds and those seeds are going to grow and give birth to a bounty bounty harvest and that is just going to uplift your mood and also thus improving your your overall health the limit social media this is difficult because i mentioned previously that we now we we have the world in our hands all the time and sometimes we here FOMO and FOMO happens to all of us and it takes discipline to actually put the phone down and again realizing that we have finite energy and putting that energy into something else. I find this to be, it used to be a challenge for me but not anymore because it took a lot but eventually I'm getting better and also another fun way to track how well you're doing is to look at the weekly report Apple is fantastic I'm not sure about other devices but when it comes to Apple they send you your weekly report your screen time and where your time went attention goes energy flows right so we want to channel that energy into something positive because we have finite energy and the thing about social media is that whether we realize it or not we are falling into this um, trap of uh, comparison and now we're comparing ourselves to billions and billions of people in the world people we don't even know people we may never ever 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 meet and that is not fun and that is just going to take away from your self-confidence so minimize it whichever way you can read something else or just don't follow accounts that are going to make you feel rubbish about yourself because we do it whether we realize it or not sometimes we think that we're just scrolling but in reality we are actually comparing ourselves to the lives of billions and billions of people out there people with different circumstances people with different talents people with different backgrounds and i don't think it's fair really and according to why men love babes in total control of themselves babes in total control of themselves they're confident in what they are and they do not they do not compare themselves to other people because we are all on our unique journeys and we are all trying to just lay the brick one at a time one at a time giving the tools that we have so if we're going to be doing that it means that we're just going to slow down our progress and we won't be the happier visions of ourselves because it really is very challenging indeed and i don't think it's a competition that anybody can win because there's always going to be more last but certainly not least when it comes to practicing self-care and self-love it is to not lean on your own understanding according to proverbs 3 verse 
five. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is if it doesn't feel good for you, if it doesn't recharge your batteries, if it doesn't rejuvenate you, chances are that is not your practice. And once again, we are all unique individuals and trying to figure it out. I could be, for example, I, I love the work of uh, Thomas Hardy. Uh, so many people find him very depressing, but I actually love him because of the way he writes. He's got this beautiful way of writing and he's, the way he puts sentences and words together. Even in a million years, I could never ever think of that. And he does it so beautifully. Yes, you have to suffer through some pain and agony in order to get to the end of the book and a lot of heartbreaking stuff. But when you get to the other end, and I think it's utterly beautiful, and then to another person, they might find it insufferable and very, yeah, morbid. But my point, the point that I'm trying to illustrate is you have to just find what works for you and listening to the wisdom of the body, listening to your heart. Because when you, when you trust in the, in, Lord, in the Lord with all your heart, you will start to understand that everything is connected, your interests, your hobbies, the things that excite you, and those are the things that really matter. So it could be that you are a tea lover and you're having a cup of tea, you've got your teapot, you've got your mat, you've got your tray, and you have your cup. You make that those small moments special. Why? Because they speak to you from the heart, from the soul. So always, always try to go within and really find ways to make those self-care practices are that much more meaningful. Because the goal here is to just find peace, joy, and and happiness so it's going to look different for everybody isn't it so why not be gentle with yourself and be patient with yourself as well and don't less stick and more carrot and and have the willingness to show up every day and and also the other thing to remember is that every day we are constantly shifting we're constantly evolving so therefore it's okay to let your your interests and the things that excite you change because in africa we say you cannot step in the same river twice so you alone can be the judge of that and really listening to your heart and also listening to your soul and not leaning on your understanding because sometimes when we use too much head we forget about the soul we forget about the solar plexus the sacral chakra all those the tools that God has given us, they really, really communicate to us what feels good and what we should be doing more of. Whereas if we become mechanical about it, it's not going to make that much of a difference in the long run. So yeah, those are my rumblings of self-care and self-love. I do hope you enjoyed this video. In the coming weeks, we're going to be diving deeper into more self-love and self-care practices so if there's anything else you want to see the comment section is wide open so do let me know and love one another take care of one another and and be kind to one another if nothing else and i shall be seeing you in my next video bye